Hey gang, Matt here. I wanted to do a quick video. Here we used our CS3600 to scan a patient's existing dentures. We're going to be changing them up a bit. Um, she doesn't like how rolled in the bite is on this side. She thinks the teeth are super, super white and unnatural looking, so we're going to be making her um, some new dentures, uh, but I wanted to show you how to repair a denture because we're going. I'm going to print two sets of this. One for um, just general aesthetic work. I'm going to mark all over it and mark where we want the new lip line to be, the length of the teeth, all of that stuff. Um, and then the other one I'm going to do for a wax uh, ram and master impression. Um, but first, before I pr uh, print duplicates of this, we need to fill this in. So, I um, wanted to show you, this is pretty common when scanning dentures, and so I wanted to show you a cool little way to uh, fix these. So I'm going to go to, S, I'm going to hit S for select, and the more you use Mesh Mixer, the more I recommend kind of learning the, the buttons. Um, just the quick uh, button tip. So I am going to use what's called a bridge feature here okay so kind of smack dab in the middle of this void I'm going to highlight around the border and then I'm going to go up top and kind of highlight that and what I'm going to do is end up creating a bridge so I'm going to hit the letter B for smooth boundary I'm going to hit accept it's just going to make things a little bit cleaner and nicer then I'm going to hit hold shift and hit B again and that brings up a bridge tool and if it doesn't or sorry control B um, and so that joins these two right now if you need to another cool little thing is if you needed to move this in and out you can go to deform and you can hit soft transform and you can move this in or out or move it however you need to. I didn't really need to there, but it can, just wanted to demonstrate it in case if you do need it. So I'm going to do that again. Control B, bridge looks good. I won't need to do the soft transform. B, enter, control B. Okay, so this one, I'll show you what's going on here. So this one isn't quite jiving. So we're going to do this again. Sometimes if you're, uh, if they're not quite lining up very well, then it won't bridge. So you have to make sure that you're, it's pretty much a straight shot for the bridge there. size of this a bit I can create more bridges if I need to but I'm just trying to be efficient as possible here yeah that might be too long okay let's do this Might have to create a little more mini bridges here.
Okay, so <clears throat> eventually I want to fill all these in, right? And I'll just go to the inspector for that. But you just don't want any huge gaping holes. You want to open these or close these enough to where the, I just let the inspector take care of the rest. Let's give that a try. Okay, there we go. And then if you wanted to, you could go in with your wax tool or your um, sculpt tool and smooth that out. Um, but I'm not really going to worry about it because these are just for um, master impression. Basically creating these custom trays and then wax rims off of them. So no big deal. But that is how you can um, fix holes in a denture if you do have holes after uh, scanning. So hope this helps.